Subtraction is taking away, right? Yes! You can also count backwards while doing subtraction. Let's try. You mean count and move backwards? Yes! Let's do it. Let's look at a few examples. What is 56 minus 2? Count backwards by 2, which is 55, 54. The answer is 54. Right on! Fifty-eight minus three. Count backwards by three, which is fifty-seven, fifty-six, fifty-five. The answer is fifty-five. Sensational! What is sixty-nine minus five? Let's count backwards by 5. So, 68, 67, 66, 65, 64. The answer is 64. Superb! Backwards by 7, which is 68, 67, 66, 65, 64, 63, 62. 62 is the answer. That's better than ever. Minus 2. We'll count backwards by 2, which is 64, 63. That's better. 73 minus 1. Count backwards by 1 which is, is 72. The answer is 72. That's coming along nicely. 88 minus 3. Count backwards by 3, which is 87, 86, 85. So the answer is 85. That's good. 86 minus 2. Count backwards by 2. Which is 85, 84. 84 is the answer. That's great. 94 minus 3. Let's count backwards by 3. Which is 93, 92, 91. That's how to handle that. What is 97 minus 4? Count backwards by 4, which is 96, 95, 94, 93. The answer is 93. That's it! Now I know how to subtract numbers greater than 50 by counting and moving backward. 
You're a quick learner. Let's see if you can do this. What is 89 minus 2? To do 89 minus 2, I must count backwards by 2. So, 88, 87. The answer is 87. Great job!